So we spent the night at a Big Creek Campground and we were doing the tri-corner knob loop and uh, we just uh, hit the uh, Chestnut Branch Trail. That's going to be where we are for a couple of miles until we hit the AT. And then about four more miles past that. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> we'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, no horses. Uh, we will hit the Mount Camera. Look at these guys just fitting right through. Oh, there we go. And uh, hopefully get up above uh, the trees just for a little bit anyway. But uh, that's the plan for the first part of today. First part of this trail, as you can see, kind of leads us through some rhododendron here. Well past its season, but I to imagine it's pretty beautiful in the spring coming up through here. This uh, first, first day, this is supposed to be a multi-day trip. I say supposed to be as though we have any other options, but uh, it's mostly uphill. It's uh, Matt, what's the elevation gain over the day? 3, okay, 3,500. I was making it sound way bigger than it is. <laughs> true, true. 3,500 is nothing to sneeze at. And uh, yeah, that's, that's for today. We've got about nine miles and change total. And then days two and three should relatively have a fairly flat uh, I mean, there will be some elevation change, but it should be fairly indiscriminate compared to today or trivial, whatever the word I'm looking for is. And then on a fourth day, just the morning, about six miles will be largely downhill, which is not as tough on the lungs, but twice as tough on the knees, at least for me. Just off to our left here, you can see a little bit of the creek. Let's give you a view of it here. And you can hear it, even though you can't see it for a lot of this, uh, a lot of this trail so far, it's always right there off to the left. Now I'm a, I'm a sucker for waterfalls. I, I love the sound. I love the aesthetic. So today is going to be around 9.2 miles, probably a little more, maybe by the time we're all done, we're a mile in. And like I said earlier, a lot of this is just pretty consistently uphill. In fact, we're about to get to uh, an even steeper section where well, we join up with the AT. So we're just resting for a little bit, trying to pace ourselves a little bit better than I typically do. I usually just push myself too fast, too quickly, and then pay for it for the rest of the day. So it's a good opportunity to just take a, a breather and then uh, appreciate the environment a little bit more instead of just freezing right past it and then uh, pick up and, and get going again. Now's probably as good a time as any to mention that we're taking pretty much the worst possible route to Mount Camerer. Uh, <laughs> there are other shorter, less arduous, less strenuous routes from different uh, starting points, obviously. But because we are doing a loop, not we're just, Mount Cameron is not our, our sole destination. Like I said, we started at Big Creek Campground. We're uh, hiking up, 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 up. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna take us, you know, about around six-ish miles to get there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's steep. Um, so if all you're interested in is Mount Camera, which should be pretty neat, you know, based on uh, what uh, we've been able to see about it. Um, yeah, don't come this way uh, unless you just really hate yourself. junction between uh, Chestnut Branch Trail and the AT and we've got about 3.3 miles uh, before we hit the uh, base trail for Mount Camera. I think that's about another mile. It may be out and back or it may be one way I forget. I don't know. 
look at my uh, map again and that's all the way in my pocket. So uh, we'll find out when we get there. But uh, anyway, uh, looks like more uh, rhododendron tunnels. just passed another junction where we could either take the lower Mount Cameron River Trail uh, toward Backcountry Site 35 or Cosby Campground, which we're not interested in Site 35. And ultimately, we'll end up at the Cosby Knob Shelter tonight. But uh, for now, we've got about another 2.3 miles to the base of Mount Cameron, or the, the trail up to it anyway. The uh, elevation change has been consistent, but at least for right now, not quite as abrupt as it had been in other places. And there have been a few pockets of lesser incline, almost flat spots. But as I say that, we're about to, <laughs> we're about to hit some, uh, some stairs cut into the trail. Yeah. So, uh, this ought to be interesting. We've climbed about 2,500 feet out of around 3,500, I believe. And uh, the last mile, at least the last half mile anyway, has been an unforgiving, steady up, up, up. Uh, there have been some sections that have stairs after a fashion, or literal stairs. Some that are just, just gradual. And uh, yeah, we've probably got some more of that uh, ahead. Here's a little bit of a flatter section. It's not flat, but it's flatter than it was. Uh, after today though, uh, the next couple of days should be I mean, there will be some elevation change here and there, but hopefully nothing is as uh, consistently punishing as whoa, as this trail, this part of it. We're actually uh, not too far from Tennessee, if I believe. We've got a couple of switchbacks to go. interesting little segment of trail right here. This uh, nice formed rock wall. There's a barrier off to the left. There's some dark green. Looks like some kind of ivy, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it almost feels like a some English garden type space instead of a uh, trail in the Smokies and here's a little bit of a another break in the in the trees let's get up on these rocks here Finally up uh, part of the AT that leads to the uh, Mount Camera Trailhead. Man, that was rough. And after we're done, it's gonna be rough again, but not as rough, certainly not for as long. But uh, yeah, Matt reminded me earlier that the uh, elevation gain today is comparable or actually no it's higher than climbing up out of the south rim of the grand canyon from uh, indian garden campground to uh, bright angel lodge 
yeah this is more elevation change than that and uh, it feels it so anyway I'm gonna take a little break head up to the fire lookout uh, on Mount Kemmerer and go from there there's the little uh, 0.6 mile spur to the uh, fire lookout uh, on the top of Mount Kammerer. So that's where we're heading to now. Hopefully that should, uh, hopefully we should get there and back in short order. Uh, especially, you know, leaving our packs behind for a bit. Feel, uh, remember what it felt like 40 pounds ago. So that'll be a plus. sign that said no horses beyond this point so I'd like to believe that means that we are very close to the fire lookout. We're up above most of the trees just uh, mostly scrub uh, through here. Just look at some nice uh, blue sky above us. A few clouds, nice puffy clouds. Beautiful late afternoon up here. Oh yeah. yeah, I don't know that it comes up on uh, camera right now, but I can see the roof of the lookout just a few hundred feet ahead of us. fire lookout. Get up there. Keep going around here a little bit. Mount Kammerer got its name from Arno Kammerer, who was the director of the National Park Service from 1933 through 1940, I believe. And yeah, he was a he was a big influence in uh, creating a, a park, a national park in the Smokies. You know, we'll get up to the to the tower in just a minute here, and you can you can see quite a bit, even though camera only has a a prominence of around eight feet. And that's largely because of all the surrounding peaks that uh, detract from that uh, that uh, number prominence. Uh, prominence is basically how high a particular peak is with regard to surrounding features. I don't know what the radius or threshold is for what uh, determines prominence or not, but uh, yeah, Mount Kemmerer is only about eight feet in prominence. It's a little over 4,900 feet high, I believe. I'll have to double check. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll annotate that. But uh, so uh, I'm still inside the uh, lookout on the top of Mount Kammerer. Now, according to uh, all trails, it looks like uh, we're actually in Tennessee up here, which is kind of neat. But uh, given the views, I'm sure that you can look into North Carolina without any trouble at all. And I forgot to mention that uh, this place was originally built by the uh, con uh, Civilian Conservation Corps. I think I said 34. I think it's right around then. Um, 1937 to 1939. Is that what it says down there? Mm -hmm. Uh, my friend Eric corrected me. It's 1937 to 1939, so good to know. They had to, they used some local materials to build it, but uh, a lot of the other stuff had to be hauled up uh, from elsewhere. So that was... One of the other things about Mount Kammerer is that uh, early settlers in the area called it White Rock because apparently they could see lots of bright and shiny white rocks uh, up uh, around the summit. Um, and then also on some maps, on North Carolina maps, uh, you'll still see it labeled as uh, Sharp Top. Um, in fact, uh, that's what the uh, geological survey marker still says. Anyway, that's it for Mount Cameron. Now we got to walk back the 0.6 to the AT. And then we still have a couple of miles before we get to our campsite for the night. So 
All right, so we are back down from the Mount Camerer Trail. Time to put our packs back on. We don't want him. <laughs> Nobody here wants to. But, oh, I can't even seem to find my arm. Where is it? Oh, there you go. It's gonna get my strap to turn around. There. Seamless. Anyway, so we still have three inch miles. Yeah, 2.8, so we got too, too many miles, that's for sure. Before we get to our uh, campsite for the night, so I'm just gonna try to power through these and uh, more uphill, but hopefully, uh, hopefully that rest at the lookout there will take a some of the edge off, but uh, I guess we will guess we'll find out. So we finally made it to the Cosby Knob shelter. It was a rough day. I think we're gonna set up our tents, boil water, eat, and go to bed. So we'll see y'all in the morning. Uh -huh. 